New tonight, an Arkansas woman forced to leave her groceries behind at the store when someone in another state apparently used her EBT card. Now her balance was drained and she wants to know how do I get my money back? THV 11's Jalissa Garza joins us in studio to explain what happened and what you need to know. Carla Martin from Mount Ida called THV 11 today trying to get answers. She says she gets about $300 a month on her EBT card, but this month that wasn't the case. I was shocked. I, I couldn't believe it. that's how Carla Martin felt after learning her EBT card had 31 cents instead of $300. So I just left my car there and, and, and told him I just have to find out what was going on and I had to come back in and shop again later. Right away, Martin says she started making calls to find out why her money wasn't there. DHS gave her an answer she didn't expect. ABT card had been used in New York. A hacker system had came came in on their on a system and that this may happen to some of the people uh, with EBT benefits. DHS says they're aware of things like this happening across the country. Thieves targeting SNAP recipients by skimming card readers. Martin says she relies on this money to keep her fridge stocked, but now she won't have funds to do that until next month. They told me they would not reimburse it. They, they told me that it's, it's just lost. And it, you know, it's not my fault that this happened. When we asked DHS if people like Martin can get their money back, a spokesperson told us, quote, there is not a way for DHS to reimburse for SNAP funds that have been stolen. They're releasing me a new EBT card with a whole new number, and then I'm going to put a whole new password on the back of it so that the hackers can't can, can't use my card again. To help prevent this from happening to you, DHS says keep these three things in mind. Keep your PIN secret, check your EBT account regularly for unauthorized charges, and check card reading machines for anything unusual before you swipe. I'm sure that there's been other people that are, are dealing with the same thing that I am. Martin also filed a police report for the theft, and we've reached out to the attorney general's office to see if there is any way she can get her money back.